What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach Elliot Scott and as you can see by the title below we're going to talk about men doing this one thing. It's not a good thing. It's the biggest warning sign of all. Uh, if you see it, you better take note because something else is about to happen, okay? Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. And if you want to work with me or get my ebook, link is down in the description. So, jumping right into this, what is this one thing? Cliche as it is, don't click off. Let me explain. It is mixed signals. Now, here's why I say that. I always say this, ladies, trust me, when a man truly likes you, he won't put himself in a position to lose you. The reason I am bringing up mixed signals is when you have this like bias, right, you tend to try, not only that, you, you have this narrative in your head on where you want things to go, you, or you're, you start to become a little outcome dependent, you start to look at the pros. You start to look at the things that fit your narrative and use that to contrast the negative, right? So he could be doing all these shitty things. Um, not even shitty, you know what I mean. Just like maybe inconsistency, uh, not communicating well, things like that. But then you look over here and you're like, well, yeah, but when we're together, he's he's awesome. Or he didn't if if he if he didn't like me, he didn't have to reach out at all, and he did reach out today. You know, shit like that. But what you don't understand is that when you continue to let this go on, let's say he's consistently hot and cold, not consistent, but consistently hot and cold. Okay, it gets to the point where the more you allow this, it goes. You know, whatever you guys are in the beginning. Let's say you want something serious. It goes you know, semi-serious, but you continue to let it happen, it will slowly mold and transition to something more casual because you're extending your boundaries, your standards on what you're allowing. And then that becomes the norm. And then once that happens, it goes from casual to convenient. And when it's convenient, this means, again, he's already hot and cold, but it's hot when I want something, when I'm in the mood, when it, when it benefits me, when I want the asset. It's cold when it does not, when it does not benefit me, when I don't want to invest the resources, when I don't want to pick up the effort, when I don't, yada, yada, yada. And then as you know, it becomes very one-sided. A guy who truly likes you will not only put himself or not put himself in a position to lose you, he progresses towards a relationship. I always tell women, if you want to know if a guy truly likes you, it's consistency, it's effort over time, how much effort or the, the, the resources he's investing in you, time, energy, effort, money, things like that, consistently over time, and it's the progression of the relationship, meaning not going from, it's not, you know, four dates, five dates, six dates, seven dates, ten dates. That's not what it is, even though that's a good thing. It's more along the lines of, you know, are we threading our lives together? Does it feel like he's investing more? Does it feel like he's putting more effort? Does it feel like we're on the same page? Am I, am I, it's day eight, am I introduced to his friends or family or, um, and stuff like that without it being love bombing? That's how you know if a guy truly likes you. But if you're going along and he's starting to give you mixed signals, um, that's, Mixed signals come from uncertainty. He's unsure about you. A lot of the times you're going to get mixed signals, kind of what I just said, which is um, I'm hot when I want something, I'm cold when I don't. But at the same time, it's also when a guy doesn't want to cross the line, but he still wants the asset. So you're going to see a guy go like back and forth. He's going to like thread this line where it's like, yeah, I want these things, but I know they come at a cost, which is my resources. And the more I invest in these resources, it's telling her I'm on the same page when maybe I'm not on the same page. So I have to show her this by retracting. It's like a rubber band effect. You know, he's, he's, I, do I have a rubber band here? Damn it. I, you, what the hell? Whatever. By the way, you like my collection? Um, but I always tell women it's like rubber band. If this is the starting point, he's always like his emotional availability or his certainty is right here. He's going to pull it out, okay, based on what he wants. But the more he gets, again, his mind isn't changing, but his desires are. So he's pulling it out. It's all this tension. You cannot keep that up. And you cannot you can only go so far before it snaps back, right? Bam. Right over here. So 
you, he has to have certainty. Now, if you want to get a guy certain about you and you want to get a guy to like you and more likely to commit, then you need to check out my guide. The link is down below. It's 275 pages on how to get a guy to like you and think of you long term. 275 pages strictly on attraction. Attraction is everything, ladies. I tell my clients all the time, it is the facilitator. It is the currency that makes us decide whether we're going to commit or not. If a guy is unsure about you, it means there's a lack of attraction, okay? But at the end of the day, when you're getting mixed signals, there's two reasons why. He's uncertain and he's acting hot and cold because he's, which eventually turns into convenience, which is I want something at this time when I'm cold, I'm like, whatever. As soon as you start seeing those signs, ladies, you have to nip it in the butt, okay? That being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.